All right. Hi there, everyone. This is Leah from the Ray Center, along with some crew from the Curie's George Cottage. And we are here with Tyler from the rec department to look at what is going on right out in front of our yard. I'm going in the garden. You guys can come in too. But I can't. Does, does anyone see anything going on over here? Bees. What? Bees. We have bees at our house too. Yeah? Because we see bees all the time. All the time. Oh, look that one right there. What kind, of, cool. what kind of bee was that? A bumblebee? That's right, a bumblebee. Um, now, why do you think a bumblebee makes that sound? Can, can anyone here make a bumblebee sound? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's, it's a hive. <laughs> okay. um, how does the bee make that sound? Does the bumblebee make that sound with its mouth? Do you think it's just flying around going <laughs> all the time? No. I think it's, I think it makes it with its wings. <gasps> with its oh. wings? Oh, interesting. With its mouth. Oh, with its mouth. All right. Well, I have a challenge. There's oh, another there, bumblebee. There's one right there. Um, okay. We're going to do a challenge. Are you ready? Everyone, get a little bit of room. Spread out your arms nice and wide. Be careful where you're stepping. Watch out for the flowers, Anya. Okay. Watch out for the flowers. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, do you have room to go like this? Okay, all right. Now, I'm going to give you five seconds, okay? And in five seconds, I want you to count how many times you can go like this, okay? All right, so I'm going to say, on your march, get set, go. And then you start counting as you're flapping your wings. Oh, I'll, I'll hold it. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. Okay. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Ready to start flapping? Okay. Three, two, one, go! Okay, stop. Okay, how many people got more than three flaps? Whoa! Seven? Seven flaps in five seconds? That's more than one flap every second. I got 10 because I went so bad. Whoa. Do you think a bumblebee could do 10 in 5 seconds? Maybe. Um, do you think a bumblebee could do 100? Yes. In 5 seconds? Yes. No. Even more. A bumblebee could go and flap its wings so fast it could do 1,000. That 1, is a really high number. In five seconds. That's crazy. Or the highest number. It's it's like the highest number. One of the one. It's a big number. Um, but you know, every time we move our arms, we have to fire our muscles, right? We have to use our, our strong muscles in our bodies to make our arms move every time. It's like, huh, okay. Huh, huh, huh. But the bees, they do it a little bit differently. Does anyone know what this is? A rubber band. Rubber band. Yeah. Does anyone know what this is? That's right. Okay, so this rubber band is kind of like a bumblebee's muscles. <laughs> what? So a bumblebee, it fires its muscles and it gets its wings to vibrate. And then see how it keeps vibrating? and then it takes a minute and then it stops. So the bee just kind of fires its muscle and gets its wings moving and then it just keeps them moving. So it doesn't have to go like fire, 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 fire. It just goes like fire, 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 fire. But then the muscles, they keep bouncing around and moving those wings. I don't know. Would you like to have rubber band muscles? Or do you like the muscles that you have? I like the muscles that I have. Yeah. Pretty cool. I like I can see I wonder if he has rubber band muscles. Oh, that makes sense. Um, oh, so the bumblebees, 
there used to be lots and lots and lots of bumblebees. Back in the days when people did their farm work with horses. What do, you, what do people use now sometimes if they want to work on their farm? Is there like a machine that some people use? No. No. No, no machines that people use for farming. I got Tractor. Oh, a tractor. Yeah, a lot of people use tractors now when they when they want to do farming stuff. And so when people, when lots and lots of people used horses, there used to be lots of clover and hay, and these bumblebees would eat the pollen and nectar from those flowers. But now the tractors don't really eat that much hay and clover and stuff, so the bees have less. But there's something that we can do and that's it's happening right here around the, the curious george cottage there's all these flowers so if we plant some flowers near our houses we can help out the bumblebees we can help them eat some snacks and keep those dandelions out <laughs> thanks tyler yeah. thanks guys yeah.